Hello, everybody. Hello, chat. How you all doing? Hi, everyone. You made it just in time for the live stream. Well, welcome. Good to see you here. Just getting my wheel set up here. It seems to not be detected by the game, so I'm trying to get that sorted out here. Uh, let's see there. There we go. All right, you guys can see the game now. Awesome. Welcome. Good to see you all here. Hi there, Philip. What's up, everybody? Good to see you all here for some big old trucking simulator. American truck simulator, to be precise. Trying to get this... There it goes, finally. It's trying to get my... Uh, controller to turn on, but it wouldn't go, but now it is. Alright, you're well, new to the channel, T-Dog? Welcome aboard, dude. Did I buy the pizza with the money you guys gave me? Well, tell you what, uh, I'm actually going out tonight for dinner, and uh, that's what I'll be doing, so technically, uh, yes, I got I got, I got, got plans for pizza. Thanks again, everybody, for all the uh, super chats and clicking and tapping the join button, and also blowing up that like button, too. The thousands and thousands of people who drop by don't click the like button. They, they watch this stuff. I know they like it because they return, but nobody ever seems to click that like button. So to the people who do, thank you very much for the support. Greatly appreciated. All right, so here's what we're going to try to do today. Some of the mods are still broken. We've been trying to build a new truck for a while. A lot of the mods, even in the workshop, and most mods just seem to still be broken. It is less than a week from the release of version 1.35 and a week from the uh, Washington DLC as well. So things are still kind of broken. Luckily, the Mac are working nicely. But I just tried out the Mac Pinnacle. That is a no-go. And I also tried out the Mac... Uh, I forget the other one. The, soup, the uh, Ultra Liner seems to be broken as well. So the Mac Pinnacle, the Mac Anthem, all broken. We could do the Mac Titan, but I don't like that one necessarily. But we're going to try to build a new truck today, and we're going to do the um, we're going to get we're going to give a try to the Superliner to see if we can actually play with that one. If it crashes or whatnot, we'll just continue on with the Mac. I have no control over the mods, so they're just updated when they're updated, and we'll just live we'll live life that way. I just got 50 likes in about 10 seconds. Oh yeah, see, but there's still hundreds of people watching, and nobody. Nobody, uh, it's, it's a hard thing to click that like button. Sometimes people just don't know what it does. Like, oh, like, do, does it make me obligated to watch more of these videos? No, no, it's just, it's like a voting system. It's like, if you, if you like it, you support it, and that's all. YouTube is always horrible with communicating things. But anyway, let's go buy a new truck. Thanks again for all the uh, super chats again, everybody, this week. And again, thanks for clicking and tapping the join button. All that stuff I gotta be super thankful for, because you guys are awesome. All right, well, there's the Max Superliner Day Cab. I'm going to try to give this uh, boy a run. I don't know what this paint job is, but this seems to be a really good logging truck. The only problem with the truck, though, is it is a mod, so it is broken on the inside. There's, like, no steering wheel for some reason. So, yeah, there's that. We'll see if we can either, A, ignore that, uh, because I actually have a steering wheel in front of me, or we can try to pick, maybe, maybe we can pick a steering wheel. We'll see. But anyway, we're going to go with a Day Cab. And we're gonna we're gonna have to unfortunately go with the six by four short, which is actually really long. It's really really long. So let's go ahead and keep on picking some stuff. Uh, so we'll come back for engine and transmission. And the only interior options we can choose, I guess, is like literally. Oh god. Ooh. Ew. Both interiors. What is this? Weird green. Weird nuclear green or burnt sadness brown. What is up with that? The truck is beautiful, but the paint job options are just horrific. So anyway, we'll try to we'll try to pick a cool paint job. There's also a few uh, paint jobs that you can download in the workshop, but I think I have them disabled. Uh, but I want to try to get something with stripes. So we'll see if we can do that. Let's see for the accessory options. Oh, here's the interior. Okay, so I, I think... Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so we do have a steering wheel. Thank goodness. All right, we'll have to go with one of these. A lot of the things are broken. As you can see. So we'll just kind of have to make do so we can actually play with a truck. But alright, so we're trying a new truck today. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back to the main menu and activate a couple of paint job mods so we can get a different option for a paint job. And then we're going to come back, build a super liner, and then drive it today. So let's do that. I have an amazing voice. I should be a sports announcer. Well, thank you. What about a blue color? Because our company's color is green. Actually, i got to be honest. Somebody in the wonderful community made a bunch of cool images for our Pickle Pines logging. And I have some also Raptor trucking and Dino trucking stuff. And I want to put it on like some t-shirts or some coffee mugs so I can put them in our store. 
So if you guys are interested in that stuff, some really just a, like a super nice person just was like, hey, I made you a bunch of cool stickers and stuff. Do you want to use them? And I'm like, wow, yeah, that's amazing. So I might put those up there in a couple of days. All right, let's try these paint jobs here. We'll try these uh, skin packs that I have, and we'll see how it works. All right. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. Hold on just a second. We got some of our typical spam in chat I got to get rid of. There's a weirdo in chat who will come in. If we don't ban this guy, he'll come back and he asks everybody if they're a girl repeatedly. I don't know. <laughs> that guy has some serious problems, dude. All right, there we go. Had to get rid of him. Man, some weird goofballs. All right, let's try to build our new thing. Okay, so this is what our truck's going to look like. Now we got to make some modifications to it. So first and foremost, the most important thing is the paint job. Let's see what we got for options. Oh, that that's going to kind of look cool. Unfortunately, I can't make changes myself. Oh, here we go. Can I change this at all? There's no red on this at all. These mods are... Uh-oh. This is all completely broken. That looks like we might have to just go with green. Wait, let's try this. Oh yeah, I think all these uh, mods are still broken. Because you see how the color's not changing at all? So I think some of these skin paint jobs are even broken too. Wow, everything's broke. Alright, well we'll get ourselves at least a working color. So let's try to go with a custom go with a custom color of our own green. It won't have the stripes, unfortunately, but at least we'll have a nice green truck. It looks really nice when you put some stripes down the side. That's what I was hoping for from some of these uh, mods, but unfortunately don't see anything here. 200 Danish kroner. Holy crap. Woo! Jack came back. Thank you very much for the 200 Danish kroner. Love the channel. Keep the vids coming. Alright, you got it. Thank you for the support. Already topping off the diesel tanks before we've even left the garage. All right, well, let's go ahead and go with this color. We'll go with green. And paint jobs are easy. We can do those later. That's not a big deal. Thank you very much, man. Okay, so we'll go with this green, right? Now let's do our interior. We got to get a fixed steering wheel. Ooh, I don't want this green color on the inside. What are our other options? I think... Yeah, this is better than... That's better than usual. Alright, there we go. Yeah, the green is going to be perfect. We'll just uh, get a new paint job as soon as the... At least this truck works. So, uh, we'll just get a, a small paint job mod whenever we can. I activated three of them and they all don't work, so... It's just because of the new version update. Alright, we can get some Caterpillar tires. Unfortunately, those are going to be too big. Because we got fenders. Can I get rid of those fenders? Let's see. See if we can get rid of those fenders. Go back with the uh, regular Continentals. It doesn't look like I can mod the fenders. That stinks. Ah, but we can at least get a headache rack. Awesome. Yeah, a logger rack. That's what I want. That's epic. Alright, Pickle Pines now has a new truck. Alright, let's see. No. Don't want those. Although, I will take the hood mirrors, absolutely. Let's just leave those chrome. Oh, nice. Ooh. Why is it tilted forward? That's kind of weird. I've never seen that before. Yeah, the mean green machine, that's it right here. Raptor is from Mississippi? I'm actually from Minnesota. Can I make the green lighter? Um, I think it'll look lighter when we get out of the garage. I think it'll it'll look a little bit better when we leave. What is this? Oh, mirror color. Oh, cool. There's act you can actually see the the pit bull on the the mirrors. That's kind of cool. I didn't see that before. Oh, look at the nice Mac logo up top too. That's sweet. Oh, I kind of like it with the Mac logo. Although Mac on Mac is kind of unnecessary. You see Mac on the front. Yeah, maybe we'll just go with that. 
Oh, I don't think we can go with any of these things. New subscriber shout out. Horn one or two. One looks sweet. Then we can make smoke come out of the top. I think that's broken. It's blowing to the side. It should be going straight up. <laughs> That'll be a little weird on the road, like we're sitting still and it's just blowing to the side. So a lot of these mods, because of the update, are kind of, like, as you can tell, some things are kind of broken. Things aren't working fully like they should. So regardless of that, I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Tech plate for day cap. Oh yeah, look at You can see some of the stuff is like purple, pink. That means it's not modded in co correctly, so... We'll just leave that alone. I guess we'll put the airlines there, I guess. That's all good. That's what you get with mods. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at those giant filters. Look at that. Mm. Just in case we need to cross a river, boys. What do you guys think? Filter one or two? One or two? You got a comment right now. Help me build this truck. What do you think? One or two? In the meantime, while you decide, I'm going to work on engines. Oh, it actually crapped out on me. Uh-oh, so that truck might be broken too. You guys want to go with two? Alright, we'll quickly rebuild the truck. Luckily, it's not, there's not much to it once we've decided. Yeah, you can see all the mods are pretty unstable. The only thing that seems to be working is that Mac R, baby. That's why it's the best. We'll try that again. It's all right. We'll go back to the garage. Not a problem. So it seems like the Mac Superliner could still be broken. The Mac. Let's actually do this. Let's try. Uh... Wait, this truck is worth six hundred and thirty-six dollars. What? Well, that's clearly a super mod. Let me try this, just to make sure the truck works. Let's first buy it. Without any changes. And let's see if it actually works. So the only problem is I might not be able to change the engine or transmission, which is a big problem. All right, we'll go with two, guys. We'll go with two on the wonderful filters. All right, let's make sure this truck works. Still needs to be a few more customizations to this truck to be up to kind of like standard. So we're going to see if this truck at least works, so hold on. So I think what the problem is is with the engines, which is a kind of a problem, a big problem, because without being able to mod the engine, I don't know exactly what we're dealing with for horsepower. Okay, well, the, it starts up. Good. Can we actually roll? All right, well, that's good news. Okay, so at least it works. All right, let's go modify it now. All right, that is not good. Oh, look at that. The tires actually go through the... Oof. I don't know if we can mod the fenders. I guess you won't see that as much when we're driving, but still a few things that need to be added to this mod to complete it. Okay. Let's do this again. So we want the day cab. And if I click engines, it immediately breaks. So that's confirmed. Okay, so we won't be able to modify the engine. So let's see what we can do just with the base truck. So we'll buy that. So we at least know that it works. So so long as we don't click on the engine tab, we should be okay. And I hate to, you know, play the game on such a flying by the seat of our pants because we don't know what works, but... I do want a different Mac to try out. All right, boys. So now we know what to do. So let's go back to the Kenworth dealer to buy a Mac. Because that's what apparently where Macs are sold. Customized configuration. Done, done. Okay, we want interior too. We want our own custom green color. Okay. All right, you guys wanted the... I think we made these chrome. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, we want to... Doesn't look like there's any difference between those two. Alright. Why would I want the fuel tank red? Well, that kind of looks cool. Okay, chrome is good. Alright, we do have our exhaust. I'm not going to goof with that. Tires, apparently we can't change those too much, so we'll leave those alone. Let's go with the uh, horns. What is this thing? Oh, smoke. Okay, let's go with the horn one. How do we get to those filters now? Because we'll color the chassis. <clears throat> Hi there, big boss. By the way, the reason I've been donating is because I got a job. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you to support me too while you're supporting yourself. Ah, oh, there it is. Filter two. All right. Okay, boys. So I cannot modify the engine and I cannot modify the transmission. So we're gonna go with this truck as is, like this. If I modify the transmission or the engine, the game will crash. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the engine's red, just in case uh, somebody tries to, uh, you know, if we get into a first-person shooter, we can fire at it. All right, let's purchase this truck now. And we'll send the other one off. So we'll see how powerful this one is just with the standard engine and such. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Maybe it doesn't have any engine mods, I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's see how it works. What's up, Dragon? How you doing? Happy Sunday, everybody. Yeah, this is the best. This is like the best game in the world. All the modification and stuff like that, and that it simulates serious real-world driving rather than just being like GTA V. I just want a few more modifications to this truck. I want to be able to do the transmission and the engine and then I'll modify the chassis a little bit. This apparently is the short chassis, which seems real far back there for a day cab. Oh, I forgot the steering wheel. Darn it. Oops. Okay, we're going to have to roll back in there. Greetings from Germany. Well, thank you. Thanks for saying hi. Oof, this is real bad. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's fixed. Okay, just gotta add a steering wheel now, otherwise it's gonna drive me nuts. What is the point of this game? It's a simulator. Hence the name of the stream. I'm sure you read that in its entirety. Yeah. More than positive. Alright, let's go with that one. $69. Nice. Nice. Okay, now we're done. Okay, let's go find a job, shall we? I think we can... Should we haul some logs? We should. Let's go back to our garage, pick up our logging trailer, and go find a logging, logging job. Let's actually go to... Let's go to Portland. See if we can find a job to go up into Washington with. Yeah, it's a truck that drives itself. This is Elon Musk's, uh... <laughs> he's made a, uh, a Mac, I guess. Jack Yuan, thanks for subbing. And now let me make sure we're at the right garage. I don't trust this game. Okay, so we're in Portland. Good. So now we just gotta have our trailer come down to the garage. So come on down to... Portland. Excellent. Have I seen a game called Truck Driver coming to consoles? No. Well, at least the GPS works. What the f... What are these lights? I think that's a glitch? I think they should be white. Unless you can modify them to be nuclear. Oh, there we go. Now it's moving. Okay. 
Hey, where's the trailer? Where'd the trailer go? Trailer manager. Well, let's try use then. Georgia Trucker 91 with the 20 saying happy trucking. Well, thank you very much. Xenon headlights. Are, but are they really that blue though? Like that literally looks like I ran over a Smurf. Oh, it already attached us. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we will uh, just, before we begin, um, can I turn down the obnoxious music in the background? All right, hold on just a second. There we go. YouTuber, um, I'll be needing that down for me. Thanks. Are they supposed to be that blue? People are saying yes. Okay. Also, uh, like the interior lights on this truck barely even look like they're on. Look at that. Alright. So keep in mind, there's a few mods to this truck I'm not able to make, such as the uh, headlights and the engine and the transmission. So hopefully when it's fully updated... We'll be able to uh, play this truck with a few more mods on. But I was getting a little... I don't want to say tired of the Mac R, but we needed something new. So let's go find a cargo to pick up now. Just join the stream? Welcome. Alright, cargo market. Uh, Portland. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, here we go. Pendleton. No. Yeah, I need to... I need to pick up something from like Salem. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's gonna be a perfect one. Ooh, that's a that's a nice long haul, boys. Look at that one. We'll be able to go through a lot of Oregon. I don't think I've gone on that road yet, have I? Yeah, I want to do that one. Hopefully, this truck is good. What time is it in the game? We'll have to see. Is Billy helping today? We'll see. Anyway, thanks for leaving a like, everybody, and showing your support. 99% people who watch do not do that, so... Only, only a very small right. pr support. It's very interesting. Okay, sorry, I was a little little over there. Just a, just a little bit. Okay. All right, let's get situated. First of all, time, 12.55 a.m., so by the time we get there, the sun should be coming up. Get ready to turn right. And then we need to... Uh, what's the last thing I need to do? Do they have a light mod for this? I think these are the default headlights, but there might be an option to change them. Also, I have my signal on, but I can't tell. Oh, yeah. I'm so used to the Mac, like, shining in. Really? The That's all that happens when you have your indicators on? Is the light in the middle blinks? It doesn't show left or right? Okay, that's weird. All right, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to this truck, but this is our new modded Mac Superliner, which is really awesome. That blue is so triggering. I just want regular soft headlights, but I couldn't couldn't see an option to modify those. Right, it's going to give me a minute to get used to this transmission. I don't even know how many gears I got. I couldn't see it without crashing. Oh, this is going to be an interesting stream. Stay RC right. Haven, thanks for subbing. Yeah, so in retrospect, I want to change my headlights just back to n some nice soft... These, I mean, they look like high beams are on. This, These are the high beams. Ooh. So I want to change my lights, and I want to be able to do a different paint job, maybe have a different interior, and then everything will be fine. But I guess for a free mod that's a little out of date, it doesn't hurt. Also, Munster Official, instead of telling people to sub to you, which, by the way, is blocked so nobody's seeing your message, maybe read the first three rules where it says not to advertise your own channel. I'm here to play some American Truck Simulator for a bunch of fans who want to see this. And I don't think people are here to, you know, watch you constantly advertising your own channel. So if you want people to subscribe to you, all you got to do is go live, make some videos, be entertaining, you know, YouTube stuff, making videos like YouTube's for, and eventually people will click or tap the subscribe button. And uh, their name will pop up, just like if they subscribe here. 
Hey there, twat. How you doing? I'm driving at night through the city. Yeah, it'll be daytime Stay soon. Left. I gotta go left now. Wait a minute. Are you sure you want me to go left? Wait, what? Oh my. Can't even see. These headlights suck. Everything just turns green. New subscriber shout out. I can't. I, these headlights, I can't even see. <laughs> I don't have an option to change them. Oh well. At least we're playing with a new truck, so just stay tuned for daytime. Coming up next in the stream, daytime. That's right. A burning ball of gas in the air will uh, provide light. Truck sounds good though. It actually sounds the same inside or outside the truck. Kelby, thanks for subbing. Oh my, I can't. I have to turn on the high beams. There's no way I can see. Whoa, jeez, I can't. Oh, this is going to take some use, getting used to. There's a cop there. I think we're going to get a speeding ticket. Yeah. This truck, I'm... Look at that. We got eight gears. Wow, that's... Okay. Eight high and low. This is going to be an interesting day. Lights will be good for Halloween. Yeah. This truck does not feel like we're going any speed at all. All right, let's just go pick up our logs and I'll be a little bit better. Oof. New subscriber shout out. Anonymous, thanks for subbing. Has there been city skylines? Maybe today. Maybe today. This truck is actually weird because it's more powerful than the other ones, so I'm not used to like going this fast. It just doesn't even feel like we're going. Oh, there's what the Jake break sounds like though. Okay, well that's good. At least this truck seems to have plenty of power. Eastbound and down. Oh, wait, wrong way. Yeah, we're going, uh... Well, no, we're going eastbound. And down. Yeah, actually. You're right. We're going We're going down to pick up our cargo. We're not loaded up, nor are we uh, trucking yet. But we are doing what they say can't be done. And we do have about uh, an hour and a half to get there. And whatnot. But it should be fine. Oh, also, I have another mod on for realistic billboards. So you might recognize some real... Uh, companies. Stay right, and then exit right. Can't even tell that I'm signaling exit anymore. Right. I miss you, Mac R. This this truck is my second favorite, though I will say. Uh, if I had a few more mods for the steering wheel, and uh, a few more mods for. Still need to go this way. And the headlights. I'd be a happier camper. But I guess for a free mod that's a little out of date. Maybe they'll be adding some new features here in a moment. Go straight. The engine sounds good, doesn't it? You subscribe, so I, you hope I appreciate it? I certainly do. Thank you very much. truck has almost too much power. I'm not u I'm not used to this. There's a lot of power on this truck. Okay, what time is it now? Oh good. It'll be daytime in just a couple hours. I'm just sticking with the flow of traffic now. 
You want this game on PS4? It would certainly be nice. And again, just be reminded, YouTube is purposely hiding notifications from channels that you love going live and putting up new videos so that they control what you watch on the platform. It's part of their new plan to try to be everything family and kid friendly. So make sure you follow me outside of YouTube so you can get notifications of when I go live. For example, Twitter down below, uh, sometimes maybe Instagram for special upcoming events, and even Steam. So make sure you join those groups down below so you can get notifications. And uh, otherwise, you, if you don't, you're hurting yourself and you'll... Like most people, they show up at the end of a stream or they get the notifications two hours late. YouTube is uh, purposely broken, so that way they can control what you do. So tell them I don't want any of that and bypass their system, so that way you control what you watch, not them. Do you have a Discord? Well, you'd know that answer by reading the first thing down below in the description that says to read further, and then the first thing after that says to read the description in its entirety where the Discord is listed. So make sure you check down below. Also need this game with real truck controls, like a cockpit or airplane or something? Yeah, I'm actually playing with the steering wheel and a shifter right now, so you can kind of simulate that. So we're almost to our destination to pick up our cargo. 45 minutes or so. Hopefully it doesn't expire. Wait, this just feels like we're... This truck is too powerful. I do not like this truck at nighttime. Not one bit. Rick D says they're not being nice. Well, they're here to make money, and they they make more money off of fran family friendly content. Well, thank you very much, game player. Is there a thing that's too much power? Well, there is because then I can't do a whole lot of flooring if I only got to like push it halfway. Then then I don't get to scream floor it anymore. Alright, let's see how far we are from our destination, how much time is left on that cargo. Okay, so we're just up here on the left. Cargo expires in three hours. Good, we got plenty of time to haul around with this truck. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, apparently we're coming to a dead stop now. Also, why is the uh, dashboard so dark? But yeah, when we look out here, look at how bright it is. Two fire trucks? This person's just spun out a little bit. <laughs> what happened? There's no fire or anything. What happened? Alright, time to go back into the woods to pick up our cargo. Whoa, this truck is too fast. These look like LEDs. Yeah, I mean, they're... I mean, here's the regular headlights. I can't see anything. These are a little bit better, but I just wish they weren't as blue. It just feels weird. No, YouTube will be around forever because they paid everybody first to be here, and then everybody built their audiences here, so it would hurt to leave. Everybody wants Everyone wants to use YouTube, but it's just... It's not broken. It's just purposely... It took people to build the platform. Now the corporations can... It's... Essentially, like, you know, we, we put all the gold into a mountain, and then corporations found out about it, and they're like, hey, 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 we gotta get in there. It's like, get out here, Jimmy Fallon. No one likes you. Why are you in the trending tab 38 times, but PewDiePie's only there once? <laughs> Rigged? I think so. What time is it in the game? About 2 a.m. Oh, well, uh, actually, 4. Wow. Time flew. We're actually at one of my favorite uh, logging camps, actually. And, uh,. This one's not as long as the Washington Road, but it's certainly cool. You kind of have to go back into the forest. 
So finally we'll be able to see and turn off these silly headlights. And then we can finally get to our destination. Alright, we'll see if I can get used to this truck and transmission. I don't even know what the uh, options are. Oh, we don't have to stop. We can just roll in and pick it up. Okay. I'm assuming it's probably on this side. Uh, we'll go to Death Mountain whenever there's a job for it. Oh wait, there is a thing here to activate. Why is it over here? That's weird. Here we are. Well, Safe now I'm going to have to like reverse to pick this up. Cargo market. Take the job. Don't tell me I got to turn around and go back. Oh. That's annoying. Well, now I got to go uh the other way. Didn't I drive down the mountain? No, we went up the mountain last time. In our last stream, we got some cargo that went up towards the top. We got a big mulcher, and we headed towards the top of Death Mountain. We climbed the whole mountain. It was awesome. I guess the logs are picked up over here. Okay, now I see it. That's kind of weird. Let's just skip the loading process so I don't have to Let's back in this. again. I just want to. I just want to haul. Please let it be daytime. Yes, we can finally see again. Beautiful. All right. Oh, wait, this is a weird tandem trailer. Wait a minute, that's not the trailer I had. What the... F oh. Cool, they gave me two loads of short logs rather than one... Okay, that's neat. I didn't know it could do that. Alright. Alright, let's roll. Oh, let's listen to horn, too. What, am I a cop? Right, I got a train horn and then apparently I'm an ambulance. Okay. Well, now we're playing train sim, everybody. This truck is almost too powerful. Leave the lights on for now. <laughs> Sir, pull over. Ma'am in the Buick. It just sounds like a uh, a cyborg duck that has gone insane and is eating all the bread in a pond, and just shooting lasers out of its eyes. <laughs> All hail cyborg duck. By the way, guys, whenever we go over railroad crossing, I'm going to have to do this. I don't want the NTSB getting on me. Imagine that. I'm going to get fired by a company I don't work for. BNSF or something's going to be like, yeah, we're letting you go. It's like, what? What do you mean? I don't even work for you. Is that horn even legal? No. That's why I was mentioning, like, some of these mods are goofy, but they're not realistic. Like, it's fine if it's fine to have the goofy option, so long as you have the realistic option. It's like trying to build a house in The Sims, where it's like, okay, I'd like to build a nice house, and it's like, okay, you can build the bamboo stairs with the elevator made out of candy canes, and uh, you can have a gumdrop fountain. It's, it's like building a house for Willy Wonka. It's like, no, dude, I just want to build, like, a normal house. It's like, oh, okay, well, here you can put your genies... You can put the genie lamp over here, and then you can have your VR room there. It's literally like a room. And it's like, what? That's not what I want to do. I want to build like a realistic thing. So that's why the headlights triggered me. That's why that triggers me. But the truck itself looks good. There just needs to be a few, just a few minor adjustments, and it'll be fine. It'll be normal. fast are we going anyway? Am 
Right, th clearly 30 miles an hour is a little bit too much on this road. Still getting used to a tr the transmission. I'm not sure what it is. We weren't able to see that. Otherwise the game will crash. Look, they're still putting out that fire over there. Train horns are legal in Washington. Well, I certainly... The problem is when you go to select a horn in this game, it says like horn one and horn two. It's like, oh, okay, I didn't know that one was going to be the horn of a Geo Metro and the other one was of a uh, locomotive. I didn't know those were the two options. We're already doing 40. This truck hauls everything no problem. It's too easy. It's got a billion horsepower. It's the cheater's truck. I don't, I don't know. It looks cool, though, so at least there's that. Let's be positive. At least it looks cool, right? Let's take a quick second to look at this beautiful beast. Now, in the future, I am going to get custom paint jobs that have our Pickle Pines logging logo on the side. So, I do have some official stuff coming very soon. What does that say on the side? Superliner. Oh, cool. Wow. That's pretty nice. Well, it certainly looks good. Yeah, that really looks nice. Am I driving on Route 20? Uh, I think so. Let's take a look at the map. All right, so now that we've got everything loaded up, let's see where we're going. Yep, we're on Route 20. Then we're going to uh, swing north on Route 97. Oh, there's actually a road here. Oh, uh, but that would... Oh, darn it. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that crazy interchange. What the... We could go this way, but... I... Mm, should we go this way? Yeah, let's go down the new road. Then we'll go down 82. We might end up being late, but... Now I'd like to explore some new roads. I don't even know if I've... I don't... Oh, I've ta I haven't taken the 395 before either, so it'll all be new. Perfect. Excellent. Time to get the job done. Yes, Geralt, we'll get the job done, bro. This truck just makes it too easy. Let me turn the truck sounds up a little bit, too. Audio. Sound effect volume up a little bit. Geralt, you can come up a little bit, too. Oh, we're getting pulled over. Oops. Alright, I'm trying to get used to this transmission. Okay, that's about all I got for gears, so, alright. I see what we got. I have no idea what engine I have. I have no idea what the transmission is. And what's up with the tint? Jeez, that's another thing with this truck. I want to love this truck, but look, like it's... It looks like it's 5 p.m. out here. Meanwhile, look at how bright it is. Stay left, and then turn left. Oh well. Turn left. I like our logging trailer, though. That's cool. Do I ever go live on Twitch? Well, if you check down below in the description and follow us on Twitch, then you'll know whenever we go live. Get ready to turn left. All right. Now let's see if we can have a more focused haul. Now that we got turn our new left. truck and everything. You guys think that I hit that guy? No, he hit me. I'm a train. I was on my rails, and he just tried to hit me in the crossing. Can you guys hear the horn? Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, shame I couldn't put a police siren on my police truck, yeah. Just, I don't even I don't even know this transmission anymore, man. I thought I knew it. Oh well. It's taking a little bit to get used to after uh drive on my Mac R. It's like going from driving a manual and then driving an automatic. It's weird. Do, do. Whoa. Go straight. I wish I could adjust the tint on the windows. It's a beautiful day out. It's like unknown territory for me. I, I don't think I've been here before. Or at least I don't remember it. Hi there, Milan. How you doing? Wow, beautiful. Some nice farmland. Horses are out. Tractors are rolling. I'm glad we got a new truck finally, though. I'll have to see if I can make some mods to this mod to make it different. Cater it more to my liking. That'll be a lot of, a lot of fun. So the Mac Superliner is definitely a good one. Very uh, close second to the Mac R then. Even more so than the Scott that I liked. Uh, Mac Cruz, if you actually did donate, it would pop up on the screen. I'd also receive a uh, notification of PayPal too. So if you want to support, you can do that that way. Otherwise, just clamoring for attention and saying you donated money is uh, not truthful. If you'd like to support, the option to do so is down there. Otherwise, just sit back and enjoy the stream. Yeah, look at this beautiful farmland out here. Lots of little ranches and things. Look at that. We're doing, doing turbo speed now on this thing. Uh-oh. Oh, darn it. I accidentally hit the 8 button for the camera. And it hit... Uh, that had something to do with adjusting the dashboard display. Luckily, there's qu quick save in the game. I hit a button that was uh, used to be attached to a camera, but it's supposed to modify the display in the truck, so that also crashes it too. Oops. Alright, we can keep on. The cool thing about this game, whenever there's a crash, you just go right back into it. Like two, it takes two seconds to get back in. Okay, here we go. There we go, back where we were. Boom. There we go. Perfect. All right. Ah, wow, some really beautiful farms out here. I'm gonna have to get access to this mod and like make the windshield a little less dark. Make the uh, headlights not blue. Allow there to be stripes on the side of the truck. Fix all the steering wheel options. 
and then uh, fix the horns too. Yeah, there could be combine harvesters here. Oh, you can sit in the passenger seat. Well, someone wants to die. Oh, wait. There we go. See that guy just pull out in front of me like that? There was a cop? Well, that's okay. There's no, uh... We're not going over the speed limit. So I guess there is a use for the train horn, isn't there? Hi there, Survival Gamer. Thanks again to everybody clicking and tapping that subscribe button left and right. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Your name should pop up here. And thanks to everybody for the big old crazy super chats again today. Supporting the stream more than ever. And then welcome to all the new members. People clicking and tapping, join, becoming members too. Welcome to you all. You're all fantastic. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa. Wow, now they want me to do 65? Not with this turn. So for those of you asking about an unrelated content, the first thing to do is look down in the description where it says to read there. Then when you read there, you'll know that there's the first thing that you need to read, and it'll tell you to read everything in the description. Now this is where you're going to need your detective skills. You might need to get uh, may, might need to get Shaggy and the gang to come out to solve this mystery. If you check the description, if you read the description, if you look at it up and open up every single link, you'll notice that there is a schedule down there as it is in the description of every video, as it is in the description of every stream, there's a link down there that says new video release, and I'll make it easy here too, I'll put it into cheat mode. There's also a schedule there in the chat. So if you click on that, or if you tap on that, it'll bring up a Google document that has a calendar on it, and it'll tell you which day and when something is coming out. And with that, you should be able to be ready for the whole rest of the month. Fabio, thanks for subbing. Any good game suggestions that are relatively cheap? Uh, this game. This truck is a Mack Superliner. We just made it today. I'm about like 85% happy with it. If I could just make three changes, it would be 100% perfect. Headlights. But I guess the biggest problem is just because the ATS version is updated. So they gotta fix it. And thanks for seven. Ah, uh, yeah, there are definitely cab over mods. There's the ultra liner. There's the international cab over. That one's sexy. Also, Freightliner has some, just some really Go nice straight. ones. Oh wow. Well, this is new. I don't think I've been across these bridges before. Oh, 
this is going to be nice. Look at this. Super nice. Columbia River, nice. Photo app? All right, well, let's take a look. Ooh, it's definitely not. Is that a nuclear power plant over there? No, no. Certainly a nice truck. Uh, that's the Mac Superliner. Typically a uh, big fan of the Mac R, but this is kind of a little bit more powerful. But I would argue a little bit too much. I want to make the chassis shorter and uh, fix the headlights and a few other things. They're only available with the mod, but maybe I can get our uh, in-house uh, genius Colt to uh, make a couple modifications to the mod. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Welcome to Oregon. I think we just crossed into Washington. Right there. That was it. That was the border right there. Is there a nuclear power plant in Washington? I don't I don't know. Uh oh. Turn left. Uh oh. Must be in a higher gear. Uh oh. Man, I swear I keep hitting that button. Do I gotta go on the low low? Wow, first gear had like no power at all. Jeez. Hi there, twin cam. Just driving in a new truck today, finally. Boy, thanks for stopping. Turn right. Alright, so I think this is uncharted territory. I don't think I've seen any of these places before. Can't believe nope, see it doesn't work when I press that button like that. I wanna go into higher gears here. Bring me up to five. Now it works. What? Why does it do that? On my uh, steering wheel, there's a con there's a button I need to press in order to get into uh, right. higher or lower gears. Straight. You know, like anything above four, then I have to press a button so I can shift up to a higher gear. But it doesn't seem to capture that for some reason. Go straight. So here's one. Now it should go to five. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. Anyway, Troop, you're going to be a big fan. Well, thank you for the support. I would modify this transmission, but uh, the mod will crash if I try to go into engines or transmissions. So hopefully they update this mod soon so I can do a few more refinements to it. Otherwise, it's a great truck. It'll be the perfect one if I make a few more changes. Can't wait. Look at these beautiful little uh, these farm fields here. Yeah. Wow. Haven't we been here before? No, this is new. Because it was all gray on my map, so I specifically chose to go on this route. This road's a new one. Hey there, Gavin. ready to exit soon. 
Well, this is gonna be weird. Stay right. Oh boy. Wait. What's the GPS gonna make me do? It's going to. Oh, I guess I can swing back that way. Okay. Cool, a train. Where the where am I going? I don't even know. Left lane, okay. Stay left, and then exit left. What a weird intersection. Exit left. Okay. Stay right. I have pressed my button to get down into lower gears. Did it switch down? Why is it still on five? God, this thing. I wonder if that button's just going out on my steering wheel. Maybe that's what it is. Which way are we going, Geralt? I'm assuming right. Okay. If the train comes from the other way, we'll be able to race them. The Washington Interchange? Is that what it's called? It's kind of crazy, isn't it? I would certainly adjust this transmission if I if I could. It's being a little uh, tedious. Especially between... I gotta just get a different shifter, I think. I've got, uh, there's a shifter that uh, Logitech sells. It's mostly for race cars, but I'm going to have to get one specifically for trucking. That'll, that'll eliminate that problem completely. Big O truck, big O trailer. I look like a professional driver? Yeah, dude, I'd be a, a swift in training. No, I can't update my engine or my transmission. In this mod, if I do that, it'll uh, it'll actually crash because the the mod is going to crash the game. So I'll just have to wait till the mod is updated. Yugurma, thank you for subbing. Thank you very much for the two dollars there, Hadachi Oda. I'm off to work. Here's some cash for the road. Thank you. I need every little bit of diesel fuel that I can get. Certainly one of our longer hauls. Oh, I bet we're going to get stopped at the way station. I knew it. faster please uh, you must not have your driver's license Harry Weaver or you drive without insurance one of the two Okay, we're almost to our destination. Colville is Stay just right, ahead. And then exit right. Got about four hours to go, so we're there. We're in, the, right. we're in the zone now to get there.
Hi there, Nicholas. How many trucks are in the game? In vanilla, I think there's, uh, I think five trucks? Oh no, there's probably more than that. I don't know. Like six to eight trucks with a bunch of different customization options. Yeah, I gotta get a uh, different transmission. This truck is just too uh, powerful. This is probably set for more heavier loads up hills. We're probably not being too fuel efficient either. Oh, looks like we are. Barely any fuel used in this. Do I haul IRL? Stay left. Yeah, when I'm hungry, I'll haul right over to the uh, McDonald's. Stay right, then exit right. Exit right. Game. Oh, now I want to go to five. Well, I'll have to think Stay about getting back. a better shifter in the future. Anonymous, thank you for seven. There we go. Yay. So here, who here has American Truck Simulator? And who here has Euro Truck Simulator? Do you have one or two or both of them? Stay left. What do you guys think? What do you guys have? Twin cam, you have both. The red has ETS. All right. I would say if you if you don't have either game, any time is a good time to buy both of them. I'm a much bigger fan of ATS now that I can go to Washington and Oregon and haul logs. But Euro Truck has always had a much bigger map and diverse cargo just because it's so. Uh, more developed. It's a little older, so it has more options. And there's more DLC on the way, too, so I'm getting excited for that. Pretty soon we'll be able to go to the to the Black Sea a little bit more, and that's going to be awesome. Including Turkey, which is cool. But uh, American Truck Simulator now has Washington, Oregon, and then, of course, started with California, Nevada, Arizona, and then New Mexico was added as well as the DLC. Not a lot of people saying whether they have one or two or both. I see only a few people commented on whether they had one or both, or ATS or Eurotruck. Uh, we're heading up to Colville in Washington State. Uh, it's in the far east of the state with a load of logs right now. And uh, we're in a new truck, too. This truck is about 85%. I like it about 85%. And I've just been saying that. I just want a few more changes to the mod in order to make it perfect. Right now it's got some really goofy options for the horn. And it's like, alright, that's neat. But I also want the regular stuff, too. How far are we now? Probably about two hours out. Yep, two hours and 48 minutes. Oh, you have both the games? Awesome. Wow, look at all that beautiful grass on the side of the hill like that. Are they going to do all 50 states? So oh, I bet I bet they will. Uh, Thunder of Sky Medieval Engineers is not a new game. And second of all, check the description down below where if you were to uh, watch all the videos on the channel, you'd know I'd already played. Medieval Engineers before. There's several videos of the channel on that. So make sure you check the channel before you make a suggestion. Awesome. Thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah, this is a very calming game. It's good. Do, 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 do.
Uh, well, Nicholas, there is a mod for American Truck Simulator that does allow you to go to Mexico, and there's very challenging roads and stuff there, too, so you can haul some real unique cargo up and down the, the roads. Colorado's not in here yet, no. Beautiful. Big O Lake over there. I think that's what it's called. It's called Big O Lake. Well, again, welcome to all the new members this week, too. If you're watching and you're a member, thank you very much for clicking and tapping that join button. By doing that, of course, remember you get access to a bunch of emotes, like 10 plus emotes with my pretty face on them. Then, of course, you get your name highlighted in green. And, of course, you get a badge next to your name as well. And a coveted shout out, the, the absolute pinnacle. The Anthem Pinnacle shout-out. He's been craved for years and years. Finally found here in the join button. Marita, thank you for subbing. Do I have cruise control? Yes, I do. Bravo Dare, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, Track IR is perfect for Truck Sim. I haven't used it yet, though. But it is a uh, really back. good piece of technology for this game. And then for those of you with game requests, uh, click or tap the Join button, become a member, and then hop on the Discord and uh, let me know what games you want me to play on there. Otherwise, I don't necessarily respond to game requests here because it just becomes a repetitive uh, you should play and then every game from A to Z on the Steam library. You can only play one game at a time and currently it is American Truck Simulator. Yeah, I'll be uh, checking out that game too. Yeah, Alaska Road Trucker for sure. It's called, I, I, can't, I think it's Ice Road. I can't quite remember, but yeah, any any trucking games, yeah. Oh, it's raining now. Cool. Wow, it got real dark real quick. Stay right. Then exit right. Exit right. Playing with the steering wheel. <clears throat> Whoa. Hello, officer. Alright, you'd think I'd hit these people, but I hadn't. There we go. God, when you just get real close to an AI car, they just come to a stop. It's like, keep rolling! Go straight. What is that door? Little Shepherds. I have no idea what that's about. <laughs> Killer Hitchhikers would be a good mod. Wow. if I've driven through this town before. Man, imagine driving in, like, New York City. They'd need, like, five years to develop that mod. 
It's going to be all like uh, tight roads, bridges, and things like that. Fahri, thank you for subbing. Appreciate that. buy houses and towns uh you can buy garages which are like your base of operation in the game oh wow we're actually speeding the, the speed limit here is only 35 i thought it was a highway What kind of steering wheel do I have? Check the description. You see the thing at the bottom that says read this? Thousands of you are coming in and you don't read it. It's all down there. All the information that's frequently asked is down there. Just open it up. It's actually much brighter out than it seems. stop here for a second. I'm going to turn up the tunes a little bit. There we go. Watching on your mobile phone? Well, the description is still there. Whether you're on mobile or a computer, the description is always at the bottom of every video. The headlights are on. These are just high beams. Like, look at that. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for a while. But the headlights don't even matter anyway. This guy's just gonna sit here. Come on, dude. Jeez, the AI is so horrible. Oh, let's just push him out of the way. Forget it. Out of the way, sir. Learn to drive. Get way annoyed with the AI right now. Come on. Move it, AI. Let's go. You get close to them, they stop. By the way, there were no, there were no cars coming. Come on, man. Move. Hey there, Chris O. Welcome to the stream. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Welcome aboard. I can't deal with that AI right now. <laughs> Going way too slow, I guess. Well, I can't deal with the AI when they s literally stop during a merge, especially when there's no trucks coming, no cars. Let's move it. What? There we go, that's the right, that's the right gear. There we go. That high-low setting is a real pain sometimes. Hello, Mr. Wolf Wolf, and hello to all the new subscribers today. People who are new here, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button. Your name should pop up if you'd like to see more American Truck Simulator. Welcome to you all. Good to see you all here today. Yeah, I guess that's what the bull bar is for. Copenhagen in the house? What's up, Copenhagen? Sixty miles an hour is the speed limit on this road. AI is doing forty.
What's up, Kurt? How you doing, man? Yeah, we're playing with the old people AI on, apparently. It's a, it's a mod. It's called the Easy Does It. You just keep her in, uh, however many gears your uh, vehicle has, you just keep it in the, the middle gear. Is it nighttime? No, it's just raining. It's uh, currently 4 p.m. in the game, so it's the evening. Getting closer to the, the evening here. Are you? Come on, dude. I don't know where that car went in front of me. I don't see him anymore. Hopefully we didn't hit him. I don't know where that car went. Oh well. Did you see that by the way? The AI went from 40 and a 60 and then it went 30 and a 30 or went 25 and a 30. Ah, so yeah, it's so annoying today. Here's that weird roundabout. Ugh. I'm just a bit annoyed at the AI today. Yeah, I went Mad Max, you're darn right. So annoyed with the AI today. Also, I guess my truck is faster than ever, so it just doesn't feel right to be going this fast. Alright, we're almost to our destination. Go straight. Turn left. Guys with railroad crossing. Here we are, safe and sound. There we go. All right, let's deliver this. Let's play it. Let's play it safe. Don't wanna. Don't wanna get too crazy here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up with these headlights. It's part of the mod, the uh, Superliner mod. I need there to be a few more... Uh, I need this mod to be modified a little bit more to work with version 1.35. It works, but all the options are not functioning, so we're kind of kind of doing a, a little weird thing. You thought that was a train? It was. We went across the railroad crossing. That's why I had to sound the alarm to let the trains know I was crossing so they didn't get damaged. Yeah, typically I drive with a little bit more care, but I, I just had enough of that AI. Okay, well that's our first load of logs delivered. Apparently we had to drive it all the way to the rail yard in Colville. <laughs> let's see what else is here. Oh, actually we're hauling a trailer, so. Uh, let's see. Colville, what do you got for us? Lumber, lumber, lumber. Mm, Grand Coulee again with some lumber. That'd be a good one. We do that one. Let's do that one. What is the weight on that cargo? Ready to roll. Yes, we are ready to roll now. Pick something heavy. Well, logs are a good, a good haul, I think. Can I actually drive around this way? Oh yeah, good. What time is in my clock? The current time. I think we pick up the cargo from here. Anonymous, thanks for seven. Ah, uh, it is here. 
They need it over at the old house building place. Where's the cargo? Oh, over there. I think we'll back this one in for real. Let's do this one legit. Bam, bam, bam. Paul, thanks for subbing. What is that? Is that a dumpster? Luckily we got a really long backside so our trailer didn't jackknife. Look at how much space is between us and the back of that trailer. Look at that. It's huge. Nine people disliked facepalm? Well, that's why it's up to you people to click and tap the like button. Otherwise, they will control what you want on YouTube. They're the ones who want to say, hey, I don't like this so no one else can watch it. Well, prove them wrong. Click and tap that like button on content you love and that you support. Games that you love, they dislike because they weren't getting the uh, Roblox and for Fortnite. We weren't playing Fortnite, we weren't playing Roblox, so they don't want to see it. So let them know they're wrong. Thank you, Paul. Wow, I'm way off on this one. Oof. And to be fair, I wasn't even straight in to begin with. Let's fix that right now. Man, this truck is too powerful. I don't like it. It's got too much power. Ashton, you can find that information not by spamming the chat multiple times, but by looking around. You and the rest of the gang are going to hop into the mystery machine and investigate the mystery of how long the stream's been on by looking at the information displayed on screen. It should show you somewhere how long the stream's been on. There's also a description with additional information, such as where to find these mods or how to join our Discord. Oh, there we go. That's about as good as I'm going to get. I didn't know this could actually haul uh, lumber. I thought it was logs for on only logs. Uh, B trailers yet? I think so. Ah, look at this. Nice. Some big old lumber. Time to get the job done. All right, let's roll, boys. Anonymous, thanks for something. We should be arriving at nighttime then. Do I love this game? I, I sure do. I do this thing where like I go on a break for a little while for American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck, and then I don't play them for a while. There's a new popular mod where you can actually um, make those trains longer. So if you want to sit at a train crossing for a longer right. time, there you go. Turn right. They should cover the uh, truck from the train. Oh, yeah. I think we should have uh, technically like a tarp or something over the top of those uh, logs in this weather. But uh, oh well. straight. There we go. Stream buffering? Oh, there's not... If, if you're having trouble watching the stream, there's not much I can do for you. It's probably on your end. Everybody else sees the stream, right? You guys can see me, I'm assuming. All good, yes? I think so.
get ready to exit right. Exit right. This is an oval about, not a roundabout. Come on, buddy, get moving. I'm gonna pull you over. Oh, too bad I don't have my beacons. I should have got beacons so I could give everyone a ticket for going under the speed. Alright, so when I can, I'm going to modify this truck to have a little different engine and uh, transmission so it feels a little bit closer to the Mac R. Otherwise, this truck is just kind of too... It's, all, it's too easy. It's too powerful. Maybe it's supposed to be, but... Yeah, there you go. Oh, looks like the rain stopped. For now, anyway. Uh, have I ever pick, picked up a hitchhiker? Not in real life. And I don't think you can in this game. Maybe they'll have a hobo mod. beautiful day. Michael Roper, thanks for subscribing. This truck is for super heavy loads. All right. It is very fuel efficient, though. We've gone a long way without fueling up. Right, speed limit's 60, so naturally we got to slow down to 40. Makes sense. You're a big fan? Well, awesome. Thanks for being a big fan. Thanks for subscribing and for hanging out. Harley Fawn, thanks for subbing. Whoa. Give me like no time to stop at this place. Gotta back up a little bit. Jeez, this is a really bad spot for a way station. There's like literally no space to get up to speed or to slow down. Wow, I couldn't even see that car. Not until I hit him. blended in directly with the ground. I did not even see that guy. Get better brakes? There's not brake options in this game. You can turn up and down the intensity, but there's Stay not right. a mod for, quote, better right. brakes. Just get better brakes. Just exit right. That's all you gotta do. Just get better brakes. Also 3, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that. Not even gonna do that. Yeah, I like the look of this truck. I want it to be more, uh, more underpowered. It's very powerful right now. I did look. If you were paying attention, you'd notice that I had a uh, mirror on the front left of the truck, and that's how I was able to see the bus that came before it, but not the car because I couldn't see it, as it was black like the ground was. You would have seen that if you were paying attention. Production for military equipment? Maybe. They would, in order for them to do that, they would have to include a state that produced some sort of military equipment. So, for example, there'd have to be a military uh, installation nearby, or there would have to be like a factory that makes that kind of stuff.
Well, they would have to do it in a state that they already haven't done. Because they'd have to make it a fresh new mod. So they would probably do it for like a... Well, probably for a state that makes maybe like a... Battle tank chassis or something like that. But most of those are shipped via train. Yeah, train sim would be fun. More train sim games, I'm all for it. Get ready to turn left. Oh, now I gotta go left? Because I was waiting forever to get behind this guy. Turn left. Alright, Geralt, I'll turn left. Can't even see the stoplight from here. Does this mean I can turn left? Ooh. Okay. I want there to be an option though uh, to have a car hauler. So it would be nice to have a to be able to buy a car hauler and, and go to like a Ford plant or something like that. Go straight. Jeez, I had my signal on for six blocks, and this guy here in the black car is just a no can do. It's just gotta block me in. Texas DLC? That'd be amazing. I have to switch my button to something else for that Stay high low. Right, and then exit right. All right. Well, this truck is going to have no problem getting up this on ramp. Exit right. Wow. What a truck. Alright, hey, I'm going to go ahead and give some shout-outs to everybody who follows me on Instagram at the end of the stream. So, uh, if you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram in the chat or down below in the uh, description. Additionally, sometimes developers give me free codes to games to give away to you. And the best way for me to do that is on Twitter. So if you like free stuff and want to win a free game, perhaps the... DLC for this game. Maybe the developers will give me a code or something at some time. You guys can all follow on Twitter as well. If you don't have one, make one, and I can be the first person you follow. Stay right, and then exit right. All right, now we're exiting to. Uh, is this the three three ninety five or whatever? Exit oh, this is right. the two again. Okay. A Hawaii DLC? Boy, they'll, we'll never see that state. We'll probably only see the lower 48. Uh, the truck has a sleeper cab, but I only wanted a day cab for uh, for these types of trucks. I just I just like the look of the day cab a little bit more. I'm also a big fan of cab overs too. Hello there, Kingston. All right, speed limit is 60, so naturally we're dropping down to 35 miles an hour. What? Whoa, whoa, truck, whoa, whoa. I must 
to hit the button twice before I shifted then. Go oh, straight. Boy. Wow, way station, we're gonna make a 90 degree turn. Recomputing. Oh, wait a minute. Get ready to turn right. Oh, that made it seem like you could only go one position. RTD, thanks for seven. Well, F2 doesn't see the cars in the back. F2, because we have uh, mirrors on the front, that won't function. But if you mean two, that, that does let you see the cargo, yeah. All right, wait a minute. Where's the... Uh well, am I the wrong direction? Because look at that sign. That sign says stop here. And there was even a sign before that that told me that I could turn right there for the way station. I think it's so that way they can weigh from either direction. Because even though that even though that arrow is pointed to the right, I think it's so that way trucks can pull over and wait for each other going either direction. There's also an arrow here that points out to the highway, so... Alright, getting nighttime now, boys. Getting dark out. Take a photo? We'll have to cross a cool bridge or something. Have I ever driven a truck in real life? Well, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see what I have driven, which includes uh, a couple of battle tanks, some artillery. I've been in helicopters before. I've crushed a couple of cars with a uh, Chieftain Mark 11 and a Leopard 2 Gepard. driven some pretty cool vehicles before. Oh, also I've uh, driven a Russian uh, T-55 before. So you can find all that on the Instagram. I'll have to put up some more videos of me uh, like uh, firing like MG-42s and... Uh, Driving T-55s, uh, some armored personnel carriers too, like the BM, uh, not the BMP, but the uh, Martyr, uh, Martyr II. I think that has a 25 millimeter cannon on it, and I think maybe the ability to fire ATGMs too. What have I fired before? Oh, like 50 cal sniper rifles and. Anti-material rifle, as they call it. And MG42s and uh, M4s. Not really many handguns, though. Mostly rifles. Oh, Bren carrier? That's cool. That'd be on my list. Oop. I think we got that headache rack, boys. What happened, Raptor? What do you mean? I, I don't understand what you mean. What happened to all the pizza rolls that were in my fr refrigerator? Well, I certainly didn't eat them. M9 grenade? No, I've, I've not fired anything explosive before. Yeah, I did all these things, and I don't really have, like, a good... I should have a better record of all that stuff. I got lots of pictures. Maybe I just haven't put them all. You know what? It's that type of thing where I went and did it and took a lot of video footage and pictures, and I put it up in a video before. You can actually check the channel. You can see me driving a tank and all that other stuff. 
but I only put it up once, so it's like it's all in one thing, and that was it. I'll have to put it up a little bit more. Cause I uh, drove tanks back in 2014 and did it again in 2017, so I've certainly done all that stuff before. I'll have to go out and do that stuff again. Overlord tanks? Maybe. Maybe one day. You disagree with the video tag? Everyone knows the best game ever is Cory in the house, the game. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the Grand Coulee Dam. I think we have to pass it in order to get into, uh, into Grand Coulee. Did I drive tanks? Funland in Minnesota? No, I don't know what Funland is. I've not heard of that. I went down to a place called uh, Drive a Tank. It's basically just called Drive a Tank. And it's down in... Uh, oh, I forget the name of the part. Uh, Stay right, and then continue straight. A Casota. It's down in Casota. That's what it is. Go straight. <laughs> Drive a tank in Texas? No, it's in Casota, Minnesota. Princeton? Uh, maybe. I mean, the only one I know of is just... That's the only one I know of. Maybe there's more now, I don't know. Maybe they're gaining popularity. Yeah, there was a T-34 you could drive. I remember talking to the owner of the driveatank.com, and he knew that guy too, but he said something about, like, uh, the guy, like, ran out of... M he wasn't making much money off of it or something like that, so... type of tank would the Imperial Ar Raptor army have? Well, none, because everyone would just surrender due to our, my genius. They would just realize that there's no point in fighting. We wouldn't have to have an army. Look at this. The dam actually has some, like, artwork going on. Well, that's cool. No, Raptor, it's the Grand Coulee. Ha ha ha. Well, I think we gotta take a, a screenshot right now. I think we gotta get a little closer. Yeah, they still use the T-34 as a celebration, yeah. Oh, it's the tank that helped the uh, Soviets to win the war. They were able to make a lot more than the Germans. That's part of the success. That's pretty cool. I didn't know this thing lit up at night. You thought that was a kangaroo? That is actually Sanic, the he the hedgehog, or it's a fox. I think it's a wolf. What do you guys think it is? Is that a is that a fox? A coyote? I think it's a coyote. Oh wait a minute! Look, you can see the oh look at that. They actually modeled in... It's it's not LEDs on the dam. It's actually, like, coming from a projector over here. You can, you can see it shining across the water. Oh, it's coming from this building down here, I think. I can't... When I look at it, it disappears. 
But there's like a projector on the other side of that building. That's cool. So they're just shining it up there. That's really neat. Yeah, I think it's a coyote. Also, how do we get out of gear? Well, that's that's bad. That's uh that's not good. Game, I want to be in the higher gears, please. Get ready to turn right. Thank you. All right, so we're taking a right turn here. Right. Narrow bridge. All right. Whoa. Yeah, I guess it is laser lights. Not hard to see it from here, though. Shot up, shot up. Uh, I don't know what that means, but all right, let's give a couple shots. Get ready to turn left. Well, not yet. And let's get a couple silence rounds out too. Turn left. Okay. Turn right. I guess they're building some new homes down by the old hydroelectric dam. Arrived at your destination. Your route guidance. Let's just deliver this quick as possible. Whoa! What truck am I driving? We're in the, uh... Hold on, let me get the right button for the gear here. There we go. We're driving the uh, Max Superliner right now. Which apparently is for super heavy hauls, but, uh... I guess we'll keep this one for if we have any super heavy equipment now that I gave it a test. We'll keep it to the Mac R for normal cargo and then anytime we have like a big old crazy heavy haul for uh, forestry equipment or something like that we'll do we'll do the Mac uh, Superliner. Awesome. Alright, let's give some shout outs to people who followed on Instagram. Last call for anybody to follow on Instagram because I'm doing shout outs now. There it is in chat. You guys can follow right now. Let's see, we've got uh, Oh, let me hop in there. Give some shout-outs to our wonderful supporters here. Uh, Willard Durrett, Harry Weaver, uh, Hugo Decker, Brandon FL1378, Daniel Super, uh, Thomas, Colorado Rail Fan, and uh, Luz Clay BE. Thank you very much for uh, following everybody. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for showing the support. Anybody else follow? Brian, thank you very much for becoming a subscriber. Appreciate that. Last call on Instagram there, folks. And then I'm out of here. You don't use Instagram? You should. Make an Instagram account and follow me. Put up some cool photos of you doing whatever. All right, very good. That should be the uh, last of our followers then. So thank you, everyone, for being here. If I get any other keys for American Truck Simulator or other city building games or whatnot to give away, make sure you follow on Twitter, too, so I can give them away on there. That's much easier than uh, YouTube as well. You guys are great. So thank you, as always, for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, tomorrow for more trucking, I think. All right. I'll see you all very soon. You guys are fantastic. Uh, I will uh, be back maybe later today with something else, maybe in an hour or so. I'll see. And then I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks, as always, for the support. You're all fantastic. So thank you very much for being here. You all take care and have a great, fantastic day. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody, for all the super chats and the big O, big support. I'll see you all tomorrow for more. Goodbye, everybody.
subscriber shout out. 